There's a version of the story of Prince Charming, which was once told to me. I don't know if it's written down any place, but I'll tell you, it has to be at least 15 years ago that somebody told me this story, and I, 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 I've never forgotten it. it. It's the story of Prince Charming, and uh, what happened was is he was dating two people at the same time. And as inevitably happens in that kind of a situation, one of the ladies found out and confronted him and said, you know, I know that you were dating Mary just the other night and you're supposed to be only dating me. And Prince Charming looked up at uh, the young lady and said, well, you know, I was taught to be charming. I wasn't taught to be loyal. There's a danger, I think, sometimes in when any of us try to be so focused on one particular thing that we miss a much larger picture. It's important to be charming. It's important to be loyal. It's important to be good and patient and forgiving. We need to have many different qualities if we're going to be fully alive, if we're going to truly be the people calls us to be today, but also the people that God needs us to be this very day for each other. I was only taught to be charming. I wasn't taught to be loyal. This very day, God calls us to full life. In one situation, we might have to be able to learn and know how to mingle patience with a truly strong word of correction, of loving correction, to help somebody know that they might not be truly believing in the dignity and the goodness of God. If in that particular example, we're so focused on being able to tell people about the rules of God, that that's the only thing that we're focused in getting them to know is these are the rules that God wants you to follow, then we're mistakenly only letting them think or believe that God is just a God of rules. When we speak the truth of what God expects of all of us, what we need to do is mingle that with God's love and, and that anything that God asks us to be this day, the person that God wants us and longs for us to be this day, is, is a, a word that comes to us spoken from God in love. All of the commandments of God as we think about them, as we see them lived out, as God speaks to them in the gospel stories, are always underscored as words spoken out of love for us that we might truly be the person that God created us to be this day. God came into this world to be able to save us from sin, which is always something that destroys us, to save us for life, life with Him and with one another. This day then, let us try to the best of our ability to know truly what God calls us to do, to be, to say, let us know more every single day about our Catholic faith so that when we speak about our Catholic faith, we might be able to do it in such a holistic way that others will see the beauty of the truth of our faith and claim within it true life, claim within it a meeting of Jesus Christ. When we do that, people will meet us as sons and daughters of God, as people who are called to reflect Christ not only in His teaching, but to reflect the healing presence of Christ. It's then that it can be said of us that we are good and faithful servants who reflect fully the face of God. God bless you.